Hey friends, thanks so much for joining us. In this week's video, Melissa and I are gonna go over the Prelabs external carrier. Yeah, the bulletproof vest. We're gonna go through the details of it, what we like, what we don't like, and we're gonna give our two cents at the very end. So don't go anywhere, it's all coming right now. Shall we begin? Hey friends, so this is it. This is a Prelabs exterior panel carrier. And I'm gonna talk about it kind of a top down and then I'll flip it over and we'll go top down again. So starting at the shoulders, um, there's some decent padding under here. Uh, it's also very adjustable. Um, you can see it's the, the double, kind of the double sandwich uh, Velcro is, is always a, a bonus because you don't want this stuff to go anywhere. Because once you get it, you wanna set it and forget it. Um, so both shoulders are, are very adjustable. And uh, as, your, as your gear changes and as your knees changes and maybe even as your weight changes, you're gonna want uh, a vest or a carrier that is adjustable. Um, I opted for these two mic holders. Uh, one holds my, my light and the other one holds my radio mic. Uh, I also opted for um, these two Velcro patches. One is for my name, the other one is for whether it's a thin blue line um, or your blood type that idea and all of this by the way is customizable from Prelabs. they will ask you all of these questions of what you want and what you don't want and uh, you can tell them kind of where and how many and they, they are very accommodating um, so the first pocket up here and by the way this is the Palaton this is not the Denali this is the Palaton and that's uh, very um, that's already stated in in the description in the title um, however uh, I just wanted to make that clear to everyone. So in this first pocket, um, there are options to have, like this is a, a pretty big pocket. I mean, I'm a big dude with the big hand and you can see how, how big this front pocket is. So this is wonderful to keep my phone, um, to keep my, uh, keep my camera and my recorder in here. Um, and inside of the pocket, there are uh, dividers. I don't know if this is picking up with the camera, but you can see these are elasticated dividers that help hold your gear in place and separate from everything else because I know that in, uh, in many carriers you have one big pocket which is fine but then everything is just junked in there and then when you go to take one thing out it's sort of like you have to take everything out. So um, the zipper is, uh, is good to keep everything kind of in place the way it needs to go just in case you're doing cartwheels. You can zip that up and nothing will fall out. So the police patch, this is interchangeable, you can take it off, you can add. Keep in line with your policy, I've said that before, I'm going to say it a couple more times, but keep in line with your policy. Uh, but you have options with, uh, with white and we also have, um, have like a subtle gray um, uh, also that could be an option there. So um, the, the width of this and the shape and everything is according to the tracings of your panels that you have to give Prelabs and your measurements. And um, Prelabs has a great uh, resource to know how to measure everything out so it's, it's all fitting properly. Um, the second pocket is the exterior here is all, uh, this is standard Molly, which is great because you can have your, you know, external mag pouches, you can have um, other kind of option pouches, whatever makes sense for you, your tourniquet. I keep, uh, for you kids, I took off of my, I took off my mag pouches and my tourniquet so that you can see that. And uh, if you have ever put those on and off, you know that that is um, how much I care. That's a big deal to put that stuff on and off, but you guys are definitely important enough. So inside of the pocket, again, it's a, it's a big pocket and you can see here how it folds out. So when you have your gear, um, it, there's a little bit of give, which is important. And also inside of this pocket, there are those elasticated, there are wide bands inside that keep um, your stuff organized. And there's also an internal pocket uh, inside of here where you can keep your, where I keep my notebook. So my notebook is separate from everything else and everything else is kept in place by those elasticated um, bands. Super great pocket. Both of them are, are super great. Of course, cartwheel it up, you can zip it closed and you're good to go. Um, these are the sides. Uh, I kept my little, uh, my handcuff pouches here on the sides. That's just where I've chosen to keep it. As much as this comes out, this does not bother my arms. This, when I swing my arms and walk, this does not get in the way, which is, uh, which is good. But I wouldn't want to put something too high and too wide on there. The quick lock system uh, is just like that. Just, it's a, just a quick lock system. I mean, it literally goes and that's it. You pull it down, it comes off. And for me, this was the, probably the number one selling feature of this particular brand because um, I, I just disliked the Velcro. We had to lift up this big Velcro flap, put a couple of Velcros down, put back the flap. This is just so much more convenient and you can see how quick that is. Um, also, you need to know that I'm way up north Saskatchewan, so it gets very, very cold. And one of my concerns, which was addressed by Prelabs, 
is that this is like a plasticky material and will this be okay? And it has been tested for colder than minus 50 degrees Celsius. And I can tell you from experience, it has been totally okay. As you can see, super quick and uh, super quick on and off. So I can't say enough good about that stuff. Okay, flipping this guy around. So the rear, I've opted to keep the gray on the back. It's still, I mean, it's still very obvious with the police here. There's a crab handle that's Velcroed. Um, just in case you get a man down, you can grab onto this and uh, haul him out. Um, these are for other attachments that, that is available from pre-labs. Uh, I don't have any of those, so I just keep them uh, buttoned down. We're good. Um, but again, this patch is interchangeable, as I said. Uh, the rear molly, there's no pocket back here, but you can, uh, you can affix you know, different pouches back here. Maybe you want a, a particular pouch. Maybe you want another handcuff pouch back here for like, let's say your partner, because it would be hard to, for you to reach if you're wearing this for you to reach back behind, but your partner can totally get use of that. So um, that's the mole in the back. And the way to adjust these quick lock kind of things uh, is by the rear. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple, but you see how much room and how much flexibility you have with the size. So it's as simple as moving it in or out. And once you get your, your setting, you can go ahead and close that up. Um, so there is some, some give because uh, with certain times of the year and certain, uh, certain amount of hamburgers you might eat, you might wanna change that. So um, very good vest. And uh, I, hope, I hope this all kind of turned out on the camera okay. Um, definitely, uh, definitely well worth uh, the investment. So this is a pre-lab external carrier. Now let's go have a look at what it looks like on. Hey friends, so this is what it looks like on. So as we went over all of the details, some of the specs uh, of the carrier, I thought it'd be prudent to show you what, what it looks like. So Melissa is gonna be our lovely model for the day. And, uh, but I'm just gonna go over some of the things that I already talked about. So first of all, the fit of, of this thing, it's, uh, it works well and Kind of starting from the front down, you know, there's a spot when you order it from Prelabs, you can have a spot for your name tag and you can have a spot for either your blood type or a thin blue line flag like Melissa has here, uh, which is pretty, pretty cool. Also, the police uh, the patch that can come off and it can be changed or just removed. Um, the front, the molly is, is it's standard molly and in the RCMP we have, um, we have our carbine mags that are, that are fixed to it. Uh, Melissa has chosen to put you know, a pen here. So you can, you can craft it the way that it's going to make sense for you, but make sure that you always follow in line with your forces policy. Very, very important. And uh, so I'm just going to turn Melissa a little bit this way. And you can see one of my favorite aspects about, about the vest is the side molly. Um, it's not something that I would put something that's very wide because your arms are going to get there, but um, as you saw on my vest, I do have thin pockets here that I keep a couple of important items in and, and handcuffs. Uh, and that idea. So very cool feature. Um, of course, on this side is where the quick lock, um, which by the way, is pretty dope. The quick, quick lock release, so it's not all Velcro from the front. Um, so I'm just gonna turn her around this way. And uh, there is an option of having Molly on the back also. Um, why might you need that? It could be something where if you have a, if you have a pouch on the back um, that is intended for maybe if you're working with a partner, um, something that they can grab you know, it wouldn't be something that would make sense for you if you need it alone, but if your partner's there, maybe some, maybe a pouch for some you know, latex gloves, something like that, that they can grab uh, and, and kind of kind of go with it. Again, on the back, there's also a police patch that can be taken off or interchanged. Also, behind the hair is, as we talked about, this quick grab. This is Velcro down, which I think is a good idea because uh, I know other vests are not, and they kind of flop a little bit, and they stick out a little bit, and they can get in the way of getting into the police cars. And so pre has done a great job because they Velcro that puppy down. Um, and it's, it stays put. So that's kind of what it looks like, and I keep turning her around. So that's kind of what it looks like on. It's, um, it's a good carrier, and what you don't see right now, because she's not wearing her duty belt, uh, but as we showed you earlier, there are uh, basically a built-in suspender, um, which is great. So you can see here that these will click into your duty belt, and it keeps your, the weight of your duty belt a little bit off of your hips, and it helps disperse some of that weight load on your shoulders. And it also keeps your, your pants where they need to be because with all that weight, um, it's easy for it to kind of, you know, uh, pants on the ground, looking like a fool, you remember that? Okay, so you don't want your pants on the ground. That's a good tip, kids. Don't let your duty pants fall down. So this helps keep that up. So Melissa, I'm gonna ask you about some of your thoughts. How does it feel on, you can tell the good folks at home, um, your two cents, especially coming from a woman's point of view. 
Yeah, you know, I love it. I um, love the fact that there's a lot of space in here, especially with the, the pockets themselves. You know, I know you mentioned earlier the, uh, the second pocket here where I put my notebook and where you put yours. There's additional pockets in there for your charter cards. There's pockets in there for your pens. Um, even in the top pocket up here, there's um, spot a space available for your naloxone, uh, recorders, and stuff like that. So there is a lot of stuff in there, and even though there is a lot of stuff in there, it doesn't look like it's, I guess, how would you call that? Like, protruding out too much, like you're pregnant? Protruding out too much, yeah, because <laughs> it already does that with the mags and everything else that kind of goes in there. Um, so for me, it's super helpful to have the extra space with the mollies on the side and on the front. Um, for a lot of women and men who are smaller and have smaller waist, there is not a lot of room on your duty belt, so being able to put stuff on your vest does help. But like you mentioned, it's good to keep the bigger stuff in the front and smaller stuff on the side so you can reach. So always make sure you can reach um, both sides with your hands in case you need to access any tools that you're putting on the sides and in the front. Yeah, and as we mentioned before too, uh, all of this stuff is customizable. So all of the pockets that Melissa talked about in, inside of the pocket, the, the separators or organizers, if you will, that's customizable. So Prelabs will ask you for all of that information and you can kind of tell them what, what you want. Um, also just the, the uh, adjustability of this. This is a custom vest. I mean, yes, you send measurements uh, and you've got to be detailed with that. But Prelabs does give you a whole outline on how to do all that and what's important. So uh, the reason why is because you want it to fit your body, but it's also important that we have our issued panels inside of this carrier. All right? We don't switch that out. We don't use other uh, panels. They are our issued panels. Um, also with the adjustability, you see this, as, as we showed you upstairs, this is, um, you can have a problem with three inches on each side, so that can lower or, or, or make higher your, your vest. Uh, these, even these little mic, uh, mic mollies, I guess, if you will, those two, you can have one, two, three, four, um, so that's always great. And then one more thing I'm going to show you before we leave um, the model here is, as we showed you upstairs, the way that the, the way that this adjusts and it makes sense for your uh, quick locks, which which I like because it's always the same, uh, it's always the same tension, you know, with, with only Velcro, when you tighten your vest, day one, it might be a little too snug, day two, you know, because you didn't pull it enough. Um, so what's cool is, as you can see here, uh, this heavy duty Velcro. So this Velcro is where you, basically when you choose your size, you choose your setting, you see how much room you have for adjustments. And once that's kind of tacked down, and then this, over, over flap kind of goes down. It really cinches it in place. And um, that way when you go ahead and put in your, your quick locks, because they're, they're, they don't move, um, it's always the right feel. It's always the right kind of shape. It, it's, kind of like, it's kind of like being protected and being hugged by your protector yeah. each and every shift. So friends, listen, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope uh, some of the things made sense to you. It was a tough decision for me. There are multiple companies out there who, who provide these. Uh, stay in line with your force policies. Don't go outside of that stuff, right? Uh, read about it. Make sure you're up to date on it. And, um, but for, for us, the breathability, the fit, the options, all those things were very important because you wear this thing sometimes 8, 10, 12 hours a day. It's got to sit there. It's got to do its job. It's got to protect you. And uh, in the meantime, it's got to make it so that you're still able to function. So super, super important. Any final thoughts from you? All I'm going to add is the option to have the adjusting on the sides and the back is great for the change in season. So winter, you tend to wear a lot more layers. Like myself, I wear a lot of layers right now, so it's a little bit loose. Um, so when I am wearing it with the jacket and everything else underneath, it is a good fit. Um, and then when summer comes, you're in short sleeve and nothing else really on. So you can tighten it up and then it'll fit just like it did um, in the winter months. So just a great option to have. Makes sense to me. Friends, thanks for watching and always, always be aware of your surroundings.